I'll blow your head off. Basically, a police officer looks like anybody. Like, if you saw me walking down the street, obviously you wouldn't think I was a police officer. But uh, after I take out my shield, identify myself, you would know. But you shouldn't go out and uh, you shouldn't go out and like right away say that person's a perp, that person's a perp, that person's a perp, because there's no such thing as a person looking like a perp. Just because you're working in an urban area, that doesn't mean like every black person you see is a perp. Sometimes we'll we'll uh, we'll dress down. I mean, we'll we'll get all bummy. Uh, we'll wear the baggy pants, the the baggy clothes, the earrings, the hairdo, the the walk, the talk, and everything. I mean, we go right into character. I myself know that I work to look like the bad guy. Um, I dress far away from what you would expect for a police officer from New York City or a detective to look like. There, I know of detectives, undercovers that have dreadlocks, long hair, that look nothing like what you would expect. They ignore the shield hanging from, from the, uh, the neck. They ignore that I have a blaring radio in my hand, and they just look at the, uh, the makeup the ethnical makeup of, my, of me, my long hair, my, my goatee or my beard, uh, the way I'm dressed or something like that. It's, and they're not even in a confrontational situation. You have DEA, you have uh, government operations, the FBI. You never know who a police officer is. And it's paramount, paramount upon the plainclothes officer to establish his identity to the uniform personnel. Yeah, by the police officer taking cover, it benefits him to the point that he has time now to actually challenge. He's challenging me already. He has time to question me now. And if I am a police officer, he'll ask me all the questions, uh, my tax number, what's this, a 28, which normally things that we would ask out there. It doesn't give him time to react without cover that if I make a sudden move, anything could happen. Well, I think cover is the most important thing there is because after you have cover, you don't have to worry much about as a person shooting you as much because you're, you're behind cover. You're relatively safe if you're behind a good cover, like behind a big tree or behind a cement wall. Then you can uh, take more time to dictate whether the person is going to ca cause a threat to you or whether they are a police officer or not. So you can get behind the cover. You tell the person, now show me your, sh show me your shield slowly, place your weapon on the ground, you have more time to think about things, and you don't have to rush and like worry about being on the six o'clock news. Got to have cover. If you have cover, it buys you vital seconds in a time when seconds are everything. Time is everything. If you can find any piece of cover that you can you can get, it'll get you, give you those extra couple of seconds for an identification process to occur, and and that's really what it's about. You have to have cover. I, uh, I yell out, police don't move, you know, I put them on the wall, I make them drop the purse, I put them on the wall, I toss them real quick, uh, I lay them down on the grass, as I have them down on the grass, I hear, drop it, homeboy. Uh, now, I thought, I thought this guy had a backup or something like that, but I could see, like, through the, my corner of my eye, I saw a white hand and a blue sleeve, so, I, you know, I felt good for the moment. My first reaction in a non-professional challenge is that it is, I don't believe it is a professional. I'm going to turn and try and defend myself any way I can. I started chasing him maybe two blocks. As I got into uh, one particular project area, uh, I seen the, like a pathfinder following behind me. And uh, at, at that point, the person, the pathfinder, uh, got out the car and I saw a uniform and I saw a gun shining. Uh, the officer said to me, police, stop. At that time, I just picked up my hands and leaned against the tree, and I'm hollering to him, I'm a cop, I'm a cop. Yeah, I, I tell you, before uh, my incident, I probably would have said, no, you know, what's the difference? There's no real big deal. I mean, they know who you are. But after the incident, I'm starting to think like, yeah, you know, maybe that, that extra word, you know, it's police, don't move, you know. You might think, okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of the guys talking to you, and he's serious. So you might... Uh, not turn around as quick, or you might stop and think, or, you know, you could maybe help uh, keep the situation stable, as it were.
here in the urban area, the only people, the only people that that, uh, that I see with guns, the only people that have ever shot at me, the only other people that I've ever seen robbing old ladies, are the kids like on the corner, and those are the kids that I stop. And basically, I'm not out, I'm not out there. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want anybody to hurt me. And that's the whole thing. When you see somebody, you say, oh, there's a perp right there. Let's see if he has a gun, which is wrong. So the people get into these modes, not people, the cops. They get into this robocop mode. They don't want to listen. They don't want to pay attention to what's going on in their environment. It gets them hurt. It gets them into trouble. If they take a few minutes to just listen, look, and learn, it'll help them out. Some officers may picture uh, a black man, all black people, as perpetrators, and, and that's not always so. You gotta have cover. If you have cover, it buys you vital seconds at a time when seconds are everything. Time is everything. Police don't move! Police don't move! Police don't move! He was focused on the gun and nothing else, no other part of my body was the, was the, the hand that had the gun. Unless the officer takes it upon himself to find out what the color of the day is, then you really wouldn't know what the color of the day is. Please don't move. I'm a police Get your officer. Hands out of your pocket. Don't Turn shoot. I'm a police Turn officer. Turn around. Spread your legs. Where do you work? I'm wearing a black jersey, a black hockey jersey with white, white stripes in it and black pants. I'm going in, I have uh, dreadlocks also. Can you just let the police officers know that when they come, please? My first reaction in a non-professional challenge is that it is, I don't believe it is a professional. I'm going to turn and try and defend myself any way I can. 